another full funded scholarship that you don't want to miss okay in this video i'll be walking you through this full funded uh scholarship in canada by the university of abata note that this scholarship is open for both undergraduates, masters, and PhD uh, applicants. And there are a lot of subjects that are available, or let me say there are a lot of courses that are available in this university. Note that there's no uh, country restriction when it comes to this application because all international students can apply into this scholarship, okay? And the deadline has been listed here, as you can see already yourself. Note that there are some important information that you need to know before you join jump off and go and apply into the scholarship. Because if at the end you jump off to apply to the scholarship, you might eventually not get this opportunity, okay? So let me walk you through every information you need to know before you apply. You know, I dropped a video uh, yesterday or the video before this one you are, you are watching right now, and I show you the steps you need to apply into that scholarship, which require you to apply into a program first before you now verify your FAN code. Once you verify your F, you've gotten your FAN code and you've gotten your student ID, you can now proceed to apply for the uh, OCTA uh, group scholarship, okay, on the OCTA dashboard, right? But this one is quite different, and this is why I want to explain detail information about this particular one okay so if you look at it here it said the prestigious university welcome applicant from talented individuals seeking to pursue their undergraduates and master and phd program note that you don't have to submit a separate application it is written here that when it comes to scholarship there's no need to submit a separate application by enrolling in any degree program at the university applicants will automatically be considered for the scholarship if you also see this information very well you are going to see that once you apply you are going to get this scholarship automatically but if you can differentiate what is happening here then i don't know what might happen at the end because there are six different scholarships that are available right now in this particular one scholarship, okay? So this is why I want you to sit back and watch this video as I drive you through all the information in this video. If at any point you find this video useful, please don't hesitate to click on that like button so that other people that are looking for this information can quickly find it. And if you have any question at any point, make sure you drop it at the comment box so that I can respond to them as soon as possible. Okay. Now, if you apply into any program, you will be considered for the scholarship automatically. But you also need to understand that if your program is not listed there and you want to apply, nothing can be done about that because you have to make sure the program of your choice is actually there, okay? So what are the programs that are available? He said, Abata University provides a wide range of academic programs for students to choose from with over 200 bachelor degree, 500 postgraduate degree program, and various other offerings. Students have diverse options to pursue their desired field of study, okay? So I've picked some of these programs for you right here, and you can do justice to it by going to the official website to find more programs, okay? Nursing, pharmacy, medicine, science, engineering, law, social science, Abata School of Business, fine arts, and humanity education, native study, public health, and all of that. There are a lot of programs. I just picked those ones that I, I don't want to pick everything so that the list will not be too long, okay? He said, this program's area cover a wide range of discipline, allowing students to explore their interests and embark on a meaningful educational journey at Abata University. Okay, here is also say student pro uh, Abata University scholarship in Canada for international students provide various funding opportunities source from the Canadian government. Okay, the Abata government and other entity. Okay, so this is how they raise fund to fund this scholarship. They fund it from the Canadian government, from the Abata government and other entity, maybe their private entity that they don't want to release their information, okay? So here are details of the available scholarship. That is what I want you to understand. First, 
there's an entrance scholarship. This entrance scholarship is open to students that want to apply for bachelor and graduate degree program. No separate application is required as all admitted students are automatically considered for this scholarship. That is the fourth scholarship that this university offers. The second one is the International Student Scholarship. First year undergraduate students with a valid student visa permit are eligible for this scholarship, okay? Which is up to $9,000 and are payable over a period of four years because undergraduate students can enjoy this, okay? And also there's one called the gold standard, which uh, is for is majorly for students who rank in the top five based on the academic achievement and are eligible for this scholarship. This is ranked up to 6,000, okay? There's another one called the Doctoral Recruitment Scholarship, which is designed majorly for the PhD students. This provides support up to 5,000 per year to assist their tuition fee, okay? Also, there's another one, which is another huge one, which is 17,500 and is for master degree students will receive uh, a stipend of 75. International countries will receive additional 10,000 to cover their fee, okay? So, which means if you apply into or if you enjoy any of this scholarship as a master student, you will still receive the stipend of 75. And international candidates will receive an additional 10,000 to cover other fees. Okay. Here we have the master and doctoral degree student can receive an award of 15,000 to support their academics and living expenses. Okay. So, there all together six in number okay so i've listed them here one to six right now and as you can see these are the scholarship that is available at the university of abata remember this university of abata is majorly in canada okay now here it says the scholarship is open to all international students which means there's no restriction to any country at all okay so one thing i also want you to remember is that the Abata scholarship is open to all nationality. We've seen that for undergraduate program, applicant must possess high school certificate, which means you must have every of your certificates ready. And if you want to apply for your master degree, you must have your undergraduate degree certificates ready. Okay, so if you are going for your PhD, you should know that your master certificate should also be ready. Now, how do you apply? How can we apply? What is the procedure and every other information that is very, very important? So before I walk you through the application portal, I want us to look at some information here. You said, uh, simply click on apply now button to create account and initiate your application process. Complete the application form and submit the required document online. Okay, so if you want to submit the application, you have to click on this link right here. When you click on this link, it will bring you to this page. Then there are information I want to share with you before uh end of this video. Okay, so but if you want to apply, you have to click on this apply now button. And when you click on the apply now button, it's bring you to this particular page, which is the uh graduate studies management solution. It's bring you to this page. Okay, so you as a first user, what you need to do right now is to click on create account, okay? And once you click on create account, you've set up your profile, then you can now come back to login again. Once you log in again and uh, you are in, then you can start your application, okay? So it said, if you are returning to check the status of your submitted application, please sign in with the email and password initially use to register for your account okay so one thing i will do right now is i will come up here and click on this uh create account when i click on that create account it brings me to this page it says okay so let's see what is on this page you must provide your full legal name in the first two feed that's the last name and the first name okay your legal name can be found on any piece of government issue ID card. You know, I said that in the previous video that I did that if you are trying to apply for any program like this one, make sure you use the name on your international passport so that there will not be any difference in your information. Okay. Now, he said, please provide a valid email address, all initial 
correspondence will be sent to this email address. Be sure to record your login uh, address and password for future use, okay? If you have difficulty setting up your account, please contact this email address, okay? Now, let's begin the registration right now. So I'll put in the name, then I'll put in the last name, then I'll put in my email address. So I'll put my date of birth last. Then I'll confirm this. Oh, so I can't copy and paste. Okay. So after putting all of this information, I also need to put uh, my date of birth. Let me bring that down. So I'll click on it, click on it. It's not clicking, click on it, okay? So March to 10, okay? So I have to change the year, okay? I'll change that later. Then I have to click on uh, create password. Okay, so once I click on create password, Mm. Okay, so once I click on this, then I will have to click on create accounts. After creating that account, then I went to my email address to confirm that I got the uh email registration message. So I'll go back now and here it says I should select my department. Okay, uh, computing science, dentist, digital humanity, economics, uh, women and gender study. I think one of my subscribers also requested for this particular course. Okay, so I think I'm going to send out this video again. Uh, computing science. Okay, any mode time so if you are trying to apply for a program like this please don't do the mistake of clicking on part-time always click on full-time if you click on full-time then click on search so let's see if there's a program that match what i want to do right now okay so here you see that we have doctor of philosophy in computing science doctor of philosophy so i want to go for my master's uh so what I will do is I will open this one first, then I will open this one. I will open the three to confirm what I really want, okay? So uh, in computer science, multimedia full-time, multimedia thesis, okay? So these are thesis courses, okay? So I think this should be what I want, the first one, okay? Oh, okay, so you can see now that this one is closed already. This one is closed already, and this one is not open yet, okay? So most of them, uh, I forgot to tell you that most of this program, their uh, closing period is different, okay? So most of them, we have a very uh, different closing uh, period, and if your program is saying not open yet, then you might need to uh, look into uh, another uh, opportunity, okay? So this one, is going to open by 1st of October, and you're going to uh, start the class by September 20, uh, 24, okay? So let me see another one, okay? You can see now that this one is even January, and you can see now that they have different application opening period and closing period, okay? But one thing I want you to, oh, I closed that. I think I closed the last one. So one thing I want you to know is that you have to come to this website first to come and confirm if your own uh, program is open or not. So if it's open, then you can quickly apply, okay? So because I don't want to, okay? So I don't want to, let me select another course. I think I'll select, uh, let me look for economics, then let's search and see if you have any program that is open for economics, okay? And we're going to see, okay? So this one is even September, you see now. So they have different opening period and uh, uh, deadline, okay? So if you come back to this page, make sure you check your program, 
make sure you check your program. Once you check your program and the opening date is not yet there, then you can set a notification that uh, uh, maybe in your email or wherever, okay? So just set a notification or in your calendar so that you can remember when this is open, okay? You can know that they have a lot of scholarship that is open, almost six, not even almost, it is six, program that or six scholarship that is available at this university okay so uh don't say because my own program is not open yet your own program might not be open they have different starting dates and different ending dates okay so this is what i have for you in today's video and if you find it useful make sure you click on the subscribe button so if at any point uh you come back to the website and you are not able to uh, uh, see your dashboard. So what you can just do is to put in your email and put in the password you create on the previous page. Then you click on sign in. Okay. So this should take you directly to the website uh, dashboard. Okay. This dashboard where you are going to see uh, your name, then you can search for the program that you want. Okay. So I hope this is helpful enough for you. If this is helpful, let me know at the comment box. If you have any question, drop it at the comment box. If there's any video you want me to do, make sure you drop it at the comment box so that I can add it to the list of my content. Okay. So see then I will see you in another one. Thank you.